What is up my original bagels and welcome to some Call of Duty Modern Warfare gameplay. So today guys I want to talk to you all about is Season 3 of Modern Warfare. So the update slash Season 3 is actually getting delayed because of everything that is happening in the world right now. So people from Infinity Ward are working from home and actually not being in the studio. Probably not having the right equipment and all that so I can understand why stuff has been delayed so we'll first talk about in this video is the update that is coming to warzone so throughout warzone there will be a bunch of new and different game modes that are going to be added so the first one we'll talk about is the battle royale duos which basically just speaks for itself it's a uh, you and another partner in duos playing against a whole bunch of other duo teams and they'll also be adding quads or squads just like they did in Black Ops 4's Battle Royale and they had quads in that so this is basically a team of four instead of the team of three that's in the game now which I actually really prefer because it just all around just seems really really better uh, next we have is the Battle Royale High Action so what is Battle Royale High Action well this game mode is basically just the gas closes in faster than the original game and it's the same game all this game mode is doing is just picking up the pace making it faster the zone comes in faster or the gas comes in a lot faster other than that there's nothing really else that changes in this game that's literally just it now another game mode is battle royale shotty snipes now of course again this is just your same old war zone just using shotguns and snipers mean that you'll probably have to get up close and personal with people that you're trying to kill now i know personally i won't be playing this game mode because i really don't like either of these shotgun or weapon selections i hate snipers and i hate shotguns in modern warfare next we have is the battle royale one shot now this is one shot one kill basically to the head so you gotta hit those headshots and loadout drops are either you could say turned off slash disabled and literally you have to pick up weapons from either chests or off the ground and there's also going to be a realism battle royale and a hardcore battle royale where you have no hood, just one shot headshots and of course normal body damage as well. And the hardcore battle royale is just hardcore, less health and no hood. Quads I feel personally will be really really good for this game because there's times where I'll get on and two of the other lads that I always play with are playing with our friend that's on Xbox and of course they are full because there's three of them and if you could actually add a four to that it would be really really good and i personally don't know why this wasn't in the game from the get-go and i personally think that duos should have been in from the start of warzone but you know that's just me personally now moving on to multiplayer they're actually going to be adding a uh, old remake of maps and they aren't actually going to be ground war maps like we taught before so the first one that we will see is backlot which was in the game files and this is going to be a remake of one from modern warfare now the original modern warfare cod 4 not the modern warfare that we have now and this game or this mode or map if you want to call it a map is fairly good and this is going to be fun for people who like to use aors and this is going to take place in yorgasan just like the majority of all these maps do also we'll get a fan favor from modern warfare 3 which i actually loved as well which is going to be village now in the game files it doesn't look to be the same as the original one and it looks kind of to be more of a ground war ground war kind of based map which also could be imported over to warzone if they wanted to to swap out some part of the map or something like that so with each season we tend to get a, a ground war map and this season could actually be different for in the game files there's actually no ground war maps now of course this could change later on throughout the season of three season three but as of now they won't have the ground war maps in from the start of season three 
Uh, there's also going to be new weapons coming to the Modern Warfare Warzone and the multiplayer side as well as the first one is a semi-automatic sniper the SKS which is a Soviet gun and it's it's one shot to the head and you're dead two shots to the body and then you're dead and I didn't even know I had a hobby boom look at me I'm fucking a bitch in the lobby Woo! this is also going to be coming to warzone now if it's still one shot to the head at the time they probably try and bring this down I'm not really sure what they're gonna do because the AX50 is probably the one of the most OP uh, snipers in the game right now so it'll be interesting to see what to do with this weapon so up next we actually have a pistol that isn't actually based on any real life pistol so this one's actually made up by infinity ward so we don't actually know anything really about this up next we have operators so the rumored operators are alex from the campaign and ronin so ronin is supposed to be the next operator and we don't know anything about him but from a quick google search that i did i may have found who he is so it seems he is from modern warfare and he was a private from florida and he was either a part of the usmc however some other sites were saying that he's from gign he's a gign soldier and you know i could possibly see him being a gign soldier because the picture that was up until the articles were taken down actually had a a badge for gign on it but if this is him it's kind of weird because i don't think we played as him or we played with him in modern warfare 3 and it'll be you know it'll be kind of weird to see if we do get somebody if we do get that kind of person if we don't you know i'm wrong oh well who cares so finally to wrap up this video we will talk about modern warfare 2 remastered so this was talked about for a while from a few years back and it kind of more it resurfaced there lately in korea on some gaming board and it was actually called modern warfare to remastered campaign so this is supposedly coming to modern warfare and it's going to be sold in bundles on the stores so the bundles are underwater demo team oil rig and that's it literally uh, like i don't understand like we're gonna have the classic ghost skin and then we're gonna have one that he's in a scuba suit from modern warfare 2 i don't really see many people going for the water demo one i see more people going for the oil rig one and personally i would as well because that ghost skin is just iconic and i don't like how they've done the ghost skin in modern warfare now i really really don't like it. i think personally they should have left it the way it was because it was perfect the way it was and i really like the modern warfare 2 campaign and i'd love to see how they're going to do the campaign if they do bring it in modern warfare so it'll be it'll be interesting to see because you have the um no russian one where you just mow down a whole bunch of people but you don't actually have to do it which is very surprising and you know people probably they won't probably put that in if they do i'd be very surprised or else they might make a reference to it or something like that or maybe show a highlight reel of you at the end of it or something like that i'm, I'm not really sure how they're gonna do or just take it out altogether and just block it out of your minds now i feel like what they should have done with the modern warfare 2 remastered campaign was to have it as a bridge game for the cod 2020 to give treyarch sledgehammer games and raven software time to work on the game that they are working on and basically create a modern warfare 2 remastered just like they did for modern warfare remastered and have that for the year and say look this is going to be this year's modern warfare it's just a remaster just until we can get uh if it if uh treyarch do does call it uh black ops or if it is a soft reboot of black ops just say look we're gonna put this out this is what we're thinking for the year however you can still play whatever you can play modern warfare if you want and then modern warfare 2 remastered you can just play the campaign of it if you want or even just play the online multiplayer part of it and just have it all done up and everything nice 
So that's what I would have done. Personally, I think they should do that to give the developers time to actually create a finished game instead of having kind of a half hour uh, campaign might be gone out of it like they did in Black Ops 4. You never really know. But yeah, this is the end of the video, guys. I hope you did like it. If you did, please hit the like button. Please hit the subscribe button. Right beside the subscribe button, there is a notification bell. You can hit that to stay up to date whenever I upload or whenever I go live on this channel, which is rare, but still, you never know. Speaking of live streams, I actually have a Twitch and I have a Twitch TV. Yeah, Twitch. I have a Twitch. Link down in the description below. I'm going to try to live stream there more frequently throughout this isolation of quarantine of everything that's happening out in the world now. And I also have a Twitter where I manually update it to tell you guys whenever I upload or whenever I go live. You can hit the follow button. Link to that will be in the description below. And once you're there, you can just, I don't know, do whatever you want with me. Well, no, that, no, not that way, oh god.